What's up, guys? This is Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down some double move routes. We're going to be talking about some of the main keys on all double moves that can tie into um, helping your route running, and we're just going to talk about um, main of the, some of the main ways to get separation on a double move, okay? So let's get started with this first video. And guys, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll make sure to get back to you. And guys, if you want to learn how to read coverages, improve your football IQ, check out that link in the description that says learn how to read defenses. Hope to get you guys on that website soon for some of my advanced content. So here we go. So this first... First route's going to be like a slant corner concept here. Okay, so let's watch it full speed, then we'll break it down. So gives in this release, inside, one, two, three, and then bursts upfield. Okay, so some of the key things that I want to talk about here with Adams, right, one of the best route runners, probably the best route runner in the game, is gets this DB sitting outside leverage, right? They got safety help, so I'm not too worried about it. Let's, let's play outside. Let's not try to jump this thing inside too much, right? So that's not even what I'm concerned about here. What I'm concerned about is what's going to get this safety to draw in, right? Because usually a lot of the times, just Especially when you're on the outside on a double move, it's about getting that safety to jump the double move, right? So when he comes off this thing here, he gets up to his depth. Now he takes it three steps to the inside here. A lot, all pretty much a lot of, I've seen a post out be run with five steps, but most all is I want three steps to whichever break that I'm going, right? But what I can't do is waste time at the top of the route. So you see how he comes here and then he goes left, right, left. And he's sudden, and he's able to change direction off of just one cut and burst up field, right? So now he commits his shoulders, and he commits his eyes. If you guys have been watching my videos for a long time, you've probably seen me or heard me talk about that, which is what's going to get him to draw it, what's going to get him to draw him, what's going to get this corner to maybe get greedy and try to undercut this thing, right? So there's two things that that serves to do. So how I'm able to change direction is I don't want to lose any speed on my first initial break, right, the first move. So if I'm running out and up, I don't want to slow down on the out and then burst up on the out or burst up on the um, up portion of the route, run a post corner. I want to go to the corner fast. And there are situations where you can change the tempo. Don't get me wrong here. But in this situation, how I'm able to change direction while going full speed is by the suddenness of my feet. Me being sudden with my feet lets me cut right on a dime. Now, when we're in this situation here, we get this corner to undercut it. We get the safety to jump down. We're not open yet, right? I got to continue to pump my arms and I got to continue to accelerate off the brake. So I can't just be here and now look back for the ball bring my chest up and let these two guys recover right i gotta make that break i gotta pump my arms and i gotta run out of this thing until i get them by about three steps now i'm in open space now i know the quarterback's gonna drop this thing over the top that's a great rider by Devonte adams let's watch it again so he's coming off one two three one two three sudden feet accelerate pump your arms run your legs out of the break you run in and run out everything we do okay so now we're going to talk about this out and up by Thielen here same idea, kind of in the goal line here, kind of red zone situation. So let's watch it full speed, and then we'll break it down. So he attacks the DB, three hard steps, gets him to undercut, very sudden on his feet again, right? Now, not a whole lot of space to work with here, so i got to make sure that I don't accelerate and run the hell out of the end zone, right? So that's And that's and that's a given, right? That's a given. We should already know that. So when he comes up off the line here, right, I want to make everything believe out, right? So maybe what I could do is I could look over this DB's inside shoulder, maybe try to get him to turn his hips a little bit. I'm closing the gap fast with him as much as I can and I'm breaking to this out I'm being sudden right you see how he gives head and shoulder movement here we want to make this look like the same out route we've been running all game right or all year on film we want to get him to make sure he breaks on this thing and undercuts the route and tries to jump it right so now I got to make it believable I got to be looking back for the quarterback like I'm going to be getting this ball so this alerts the DB okay the ball's coming I'm going to come try to undercut this thing I commit my shoulders flat right you see a lot of times guys who run an out and up especially when they make that first initial break their shoulders are drifting upfield like they're looking back for the ball but they're drifting upfield ain't nobody gonna run a regular speed out like that quick out whatever you want to call it they're gonna get on that 90 is that 90 degree angle right now so when i get on that 90 right now and i commit my shoulders same idea i got to take it out for three steps so i break one two three and you see again how sudden his feet are he's not reaching for this i see it too many times especially on a post corner and out and up guys will make that break to the post and then they'll reach for that step and they lean back and they're slow which gives this time this guy time to recover right so if i can make it believable with my shoulders believable with my eyes and i'm very sudden and then now what does he do now's the situation where i got to snap my head around quick right because we know cousins is just going to drop this thing in the back corner of the end zone we got him to undercut in the red zone this is all the separation i I need in the red zone right here because the inches matter down there right so we just got to make sure that we have my eyes ready for this ball balls coming over the top and I know this isn't the focus of the video but you see how late Thielen's hands are anytime we beat this guy in a double move especially on the outside and he's trailing us right he's trailing this back hip I don't want to show my hands too early I want to try to wait till the last possible second 
and then show my hands so he doesn't have time to react and play my hands and knock this ball out. Okay, so let's watch it again one more time. Great route here by Adam Thielen. That's how you run an out and up. So come in here, stick, one, two, three, eyes, sudden feet. Make sure I snap my head around when I'm in a red zone situation, okay? So now we're going to be looking at Amari Cooper. Um, we're going to be looking at two posts outs here, okay? So this same thing can apply um, for a post corner on the first one, and then the second one we're going to talk about a second way to run a post out, okay? Or you call it a blaze out. I've heard that before too. So let's w watch this thing full speed. So he breaks, one, two, three, very sudden, and he's running out of this break, okay? So let's talk about this. So I want you to see how when he comes off the line of scrimmage here, he's very fast, and you see how he kind of angles his stem, right? He's not going just straight to the inside. He's angling his stem to make sure that he's attacking this DB, right? We want to make everything look like the first move. So he's running a post out. We want to make this thing look like a post, so much look like a post, right? And you watch old um, Jerry Rice film. That's a great guy to watch on double moves. Like He runs a lot of sluggos, runs a lot of post outs, runs a lot of post corners, and you can see how believable he makes every single move, right? One of the greatest receivers of all time, right? So Cooper comes off and he bursts off that stick, right? Very sudden. You see how sudden he is with it, making everything look like a post. And then what's the first thing that shoots around? Eyes. Commits his shoulders all the way. His shoulders are on that 45, right? My shoulders can't be drifting upfield and I can't be looking back with my eyes. That's not believable. I'm not being a salesman, right? You want to be a salesman first. You're trying to sell them on the product of a post route, right? So now we're going three steps. One, two, three. And you see how sudden he is with this, right? And you look how much this DB has got his hips committed. We're being very quick, very explosive. And you see when we make this sudden stick, this goes for a post corner too. This is like, more, I would consider this more so a post out because of how flat he comes off the break right um th this pro this could have been a post corner and he might have just rounded this thing off flat because of one maybe a safety over the top or maybe just alignment of the defense it depends you know right it really depends but that's why i want to show you both so it um kind of plays out right or, or it shows you both examples so when he makes this cut here, anytime we're going off a speed cut, I got to make sure I push, especially on a double move. I'm pushing off that inside arch. I'm getting my hips open with my opposite leg, and I'm pumping my arms to make sure that I accelerate off this break. So you see sudden, and he's pushing, and he opens up those hips, gets the hands off, and now he snaps those eyes around. Now you see how flat he's coming, right? That's why I consider a post out in this situation, right? He might It might have been corner. He might have been taking this thing up on a 45, just flattened it out because of alignment of the defense. We just don't have the angle, right? But... It's the same idea. Three hard steps, very sudden. He's pushing, get those hands off and pump my arms, drive, run out of this break. Great job here by Amari Cooper. Let's watch it again. Now, the next clip we're going to take a look at is T. Higgins um, running this uh, post out, right? And we're going to talk about how you can almost treat the post break like a snap down, like you're running a curl at the top of the route, okay? So he's coming off this thing, break, one, two, three. Sudden stick, get his hips to turn, accelerate off this thing. Great route here by Amari Cooper, okay? So now... We're going to talk about how this initial, he's running this post first, and then the three steps at the top. So let's watch it again. So he's coming off here, break, one, two, three. In and out of this break. That's a great job here. Let's watch this thing again one more time. Actually, I'm not, I don't think this is T. Higgins. My fault. My bad. All right. So let's watch this thing full, or let's break this thing down. So he's coming off here again. What's he doing? Look where his eyes are. He's attacking this DB. Now this DB's in a bail technique, right? This is zone. This is like here. Coming up, acting like he's going to press, then bail. Press bail, right? So his eyes are in the backfield. He's running out of this thing. So what do I got to do? I got to attack this DB. Now, something else that you could do off the line of scrimmage here is you could maybe attack his blind spot, right? You could angle the stem to where you're attacking this weak hip, maybe get him to really bail. And then when I make that post break, he would get an overreaction out of him, maybe even a speed turn, right? So he comes off the line of scrimmage here, fast, sudden stick to the inside. Now, this is great technique with his eyes, right? Fully committing his hips and his shoulders. And then what is this going to do to the DB, right? He's looking in the quarterback, but what comes in? In his, what comes in his vision, right? This post comes in his vision. So obviously what he's going to do is try to react. He's not just going to let him run this post. He's expecting this ball maybe right off the break so he could go try to jump it and make a play. So same idea. Sudden, one, two, three. Now we see how he's snapping down on this break, right? This is sometimes easier when you have to get flat like on a 40 or like on a 90 degree angle, right? If he was getting on a 45 like a corner, I wouldn't like this technique. I'd like just one sudden stick and then go. But you see how he's here and he treats it like a snap down. He's dropping, getting his hips into an explosive position and bringing his chin to his knee, right? So what's this going to do? He's still overcommitted with his hips, but the low man's going to win, right? You see how tall this DB is. Now you see how low we're getting. Now what's the technique for me to get out of there? I got to snap down, 
Then my second step's got to pivot me, as you can see, which that's starting to get his hips turned back on this 90 degree angle. And then my third step here has to drive me and give me some acceleration. But at the same time, I got to pump my arms and I got to run off of this thing, especially when I got a reaction out of this DB. And you see how he's pumping his arms, accelerate out. Great route here. Let's watch it again one more time, full speed. So coming off the line, stick, one, two, three, in and out of this break. Three steps, accelerate off this thing. Great route here. All right, so the next thing we're going to look at here is a sluggo. So main thing about this one is um, that I got to be fast off the line, right? Because we're running this, we want to sell a slant. So the main thing about slants is your explosion off the line of scrimmage. So we're going to talk about that. But uh, let's watch this thing full speed and then we'll break it down. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Very quick feet, very sudden feet. I got to make this thing believable. And on a sluggo, it is very important that we accelerate off this thing, okay? So... Main thing about exploding off the line here is that I got to make sure I have like 70 to 80 percent of my weight on my front leg, right? Because what's going to happen here, I got to make sure I'm bursting off and I'm pushing vertical, right? In this situation, this DB is like in a press bail technique. So he's bailing. So we want to attack the weak side, right? We want to attack this blind spot, maybe get him to start shuffling outside. Then when we make this break on this slant, we get a reaction off of him, right? So I come off the line, I explode. One, two, three. Now you see how sudden he is again with his feet. Being sudden with your feet is so important on a sluggo guys so he's being very sudden then three steps to the inside now what a lot of people do on a sluggo is they take these real choppy steps i'd like to see him run i'd like to see rugs run a little bit more on this but um is what it is it's still got what it was needed to still accomplish what it needed to but the steps were still enough right this, but i just don't want these one like one two three real quick choppy steps i don't like that i want to actually run because that's what's going to give a reaction out of this db and how we change directions while we run is being in a good explosive pad level position and being sudden with your feet right but if we chop we start to slow down so you see how he's coming in here three hard steps and again being very sudden with his feet committing his shoulders i think he could have given his eyes a little bit more but his shoulders is what did it because look where that db's watching right that db's looking right at that hip right at that number so if we commit my hips that's what's going to commit this db's hips right and then i'm very sudden here now no hands bad position for this db i got to make sure i pump my arms i got to make sure i got my head down i got to make sure i accelerate and pump off of this break continue to gain separation from this db if this ball's good thrown over the top not under thrown i don't have to high point and go up with a strong grip but that's a great job here adjusting to the ball let's watch it again one more time here so here one two three sudden stick sudden feet commit your hips and shoot your eyes back to the quarterback great route there all right guys i really want to thank you for watching um i really appreciate it again please leave in the comments any questions questions you guys have or any video requests, I'll make sure to get back to you guys and I'll see you guys next time.